Okay, so ang lesson natin ngayon ay multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000 mentally. Okay, ito ay lesson sa mga grade 6 math. So, pag nagka-times ka ng decimals by 10, you move 1 decimal place to the right. Pag times 100, move 2 decimal places to the right. And pag times 1,000, move, you move 3 decimal places to the right. Examples. Number 1. 12.34 times 10. So, hindi mo na kailangan ilong method. Imumove mo lang siya. Kasi isa yung 0. So, move 1 decimal place to the right. So, magiging answer natin ay 1, 2, 3.4. So, ganun lang kadali. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-long method. Pag nagta-times ka ng 10. Pag times 100 naman, you move 2 decimal places to the right. You count. Pag times 100, 1, 2. So, sa right tayo. So, 1, 2. So, ang magiging answer natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1,234. So, ganun lang kadali. Pag times 100, you move 2 decimal places to the right. How about pag times 1,000? So, you move 3 decimal places to the right. So, 1, 2, 3. So, mayroon tayong blanko doon. Doon sa blank, you add 1, 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. So, ang answer natin ay 12,300. 40. Okay, so ganun lang pag times 1,000. That look. How about example number 4? 79.142 times 10. So times 10, 1 decimal place to the right. So, move natin ng 1. So, 1 point. So, ang sagot natin ay 791.2. point. Four, two. Okay, so naintindihan ba natin? Example number 5 79.142 times 100 So times 100 You move 2 decimal places To the right So, dalawa 1, 2, point Okay, so dalawa So, 1, 2, point So, 7,914 Point two. Okay, so yan yung number 5 natin Punta naman tayo sa next lesson Which is multiplying decimals by 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001 mentally So dito, pag nagmumultiply ka ng 0 0.1 You move 1 decimal place to the left Okay, so kaliwa naman ngayon Pag times 0 0.01, you move 2 decimal places to the left. At pag times 0 0.001, you move 3 decimal places to the left. So, yan yung rule natin. Pag nagmumultiply tayo ng decimals ng 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001. So, example, 12.34 times 0. Example number 1, so 12.34 times 0 0.1. So, move 1 decimal place to the left. So, 1 point. So, ang ating answer ay 1.234. So, isa lang pag times 0 0.1. Number 2, 12.34 times 0 0.1. 
times 0.01. So, pag times 0.01, you move 2 decimal places to the left. So, dalawa sa kaliwa. 1, 2, point. So, ang ating answer ay point. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, pwede mong lagyan ng 0 sa harap. So, 0 point 1, 2, 3, 4. Pag number 3, 12 point 34 times 0 point 001. So, pag 0 point 001, you move 3 decimal places to the left. <clears throat> so, that's low. 1, 2, 3. So, tatlo sa kaliwa. 1, 2, 3. So, may blank tayo dito. Magdadagtag tayo ng 0. So, magiging point zero one two three four. 2, 3, 4. So, tayo ng 0. So, pwede mo lagyan ng 0 dito sa harap. So, pag tatlo, point zero zero one tatlo sa kaliwa. Imumove yung decimal point ng tatlong beses. Okay? So, number 4, 79.142 times 0 0.1. So, pag 0 0.1 ulit, you move 1 decimal place to the left. So, isa lang. So, balik tayo doon. 1. So, isa lang. So, point. So, magiging 7.912. Four, okay, so napakadali na. Hindi na, hindi na pwedeng ilong method. Shortcut. Okay, pag time 0.01, i-move natin ng dalawang beses yung point papunta sa kaliwa. Okay, so 1, 2, point. Okay, so point 7, 9, 1, 4, 2. So, meron tayong, kung dito, lalagyan natin ng 0. So, 0 0.7914. So, huwag niyong kakalimutan yung mga pinag-aralan natin. Pag nagmumultiply ng decimals, by 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.01, Mentally, you move the decimal place to the left. Okay, sa kaliwa. Pag 0 0.1, isa lang. Pag 0 0.01, dalawa. Pag 0 0.001, tatlo. And yung unang lesson natin, kanina, yung multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000. Mentally, pag times 10, Move one decimal place to the right. Right naman. Okay? Pag 100, move two decimal places to the right. And pag 1,000, you move three decimal places to the right. Okay? So, huwag yung kakalimutan. Lesson ito sa grade 6. So, kailangan natin ito para hindi na tayo mag, okay, magsusolve ng matagal. Shortcut. Okay, so sa mga susunod na lesson, till next time.